mark is any sort of opening. Spine oh. Buster! Buster looking for his best move to the end! Shot with the title! And look at him. He's daring him to come in there. I'm telling you. Uh, Dixon, I appreciate the confidence, but I don't know if you want to play the game of Tim Spriggs. We'll see? Dixon's showing off. about to pay for it. Oh. Actually, I mean, Dixon is pretty much a brawler in that ring, but we've seen in the past, Dixon, Dixon actually is a he, he pretty good wrestler. He can't suplex him. That's that leverage that Bushmaster has. As you can see, Spencer. And he's rubbing the bald head. Did you see that? Yeah, Spencer giving the point to Tim Spriggs in this matchup. What's better, two badass individuals forming a team or the team that. Or the best team that we have. A team that's been teaming together longer. They complement each other's styles. And have been champions for how long? Well, at least since July. Right. They're inching closer and closer to a year with those tag team championships. Yeah, but as you can see, Ken Dixon inching, inching closer and closer to his own corner. Definitely not where Spriggs wants to be. And I think even... This would love an opportunity to get more ball. Let's not get it twisted. Levy, he has no problem walking around here with two championship belts. Yeah, I believe he would only be the third man in history, in MCW history, to be a double champion here. This is where I try to figure out what he is. I mean, you can, you can try. You want to go back to the history books. Oh! Oh, come on, look at that. Yeah, I think, I think Dixon maybe is uh, done trying to out-wrestle. Maybe just looking to stomp out Tim Spriggs. I told you what I want to see. Let's get Dixon in there with Slade. Spriggs taking Dixon down to the mat. He was shut Dixon up for a while. Are you just mad because Dixon never shared a beer with you? You know what? Yeah, you had to think about that one, didn't you? I'm too good to hang out with Ken Dixon, okay? Yeah, you're hanging out with the likes of Cash, Cash Carter, and apparently now Austin Kingsley. That's any, right. Any, anywhere where the money is. That's exactly right. And they pay, too. Cash is conspicuous by his absence here tonight. Well, he's been banned from ringside, so why be here? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm used to seeing him all over this show. And, and first of all, what a horrible decision there by Phil Stanford. Not allowing us to be graced by the presence of Cash's cash card. That's Don't worry, he's watching this. And you have to know that Capital Punishment, they were probably watching last week. They were looking for any possible weakness and the champion, Demarcus Kane, especially after that street fight with Big AC. Oh, tag made. Oh. Oh. And we got a little overzealous there, did Spencer Slade. The submission specialist. In there against the kingpin. Dominant MCW champion. Oh, and you're getting the matchup that you wanted, Cradle. Go around. A little let's double team. Let's see it go down. Oh, and that's especially in in there against somebody the likes of Tim Spriggs and Spencer Slade. You know that Ken Dixon. He has to be wary about that. That neck injury, that I previous neck injury. Ask, you talk about a, a bullseye. Oh, oh, right, right on the shoulders of Dixon, but Spriggs able to roll out of that. Oh wow! Who's in that football shoulder tackle is Ken Dixon, and now just muscle up and couldn't get it. Is there a tag? Man? I don't think there was a tag. Oh, there was a shoulder to the. 
the point I was trying to make earlier, you're in there against two men who love to just pick a body part and torture that. You, as you said, that that bullseye on the neck of Dixon, especially against someone like Tim Spriggs who loves to choke his. Different for them because let's face it, only one man can beat a heavyweight champ. There won't be no champ. So which one do you put your money on? Uh, I think that's a question for Cassius on that one. And actually, to your point, cover. To your point, should capital punishment be victorious here? I mean, you would have to think that they, at least one of them want to get the championship before the other. Oh! That breaker reversal there by Ken Dixon. Come on, tag to the kingpin. Big clothesline to the tag team champions. Oh! Big single leg drop kick. And there's the explosion from the heavyweight champion. It's the explosion like that that brought him to the top of the mountain. That's why he became the heavyweight champion. I don't think Spencer Slay has ever been lifted that easily over anybody. And yeah, don't get it wrong, Spencer Slade, not a small man. No, not at all. Oh! oh. Wow. Out of the out of the That old war injury comes back to on him. Oh. And the DDT! That's a cover, ref, that's a cover! Oh, come on, referee out of position right there. We would have new number one contenders for the heavyweight title. Oh, you can blame Ken Dixon on that one. He saw what transpired there. Trying to bring it to Keener's attention, and it may have actually saved the matchup. Oh. Oh, straight right. Oh. Yeah, DeMarcus trying to fight back, but Spencer just shrugging off the shots. Marcus now in the wrong part of town. This is usually a time when Jim Scott would rally the troops. Yeah. yeah, Ken Dixon needs to take up that mantle. Especially now that the tag champs are picking apart the champ, the heavyweight champ. Cover! Take a lot of later uh, do you really want to do that when in the process you would get not one but two challengers at separate times, mind you? Oh, oh dropping the elbow. But can you imagine somehow they were oh, there's another cover? What if they were able to get that title match at the same time? Uh, I don't know. As you said, there can only be one man at the top. But you know that both Tim and Spencer, they would love to call themselves not just not just be at the top of the mountain in the tag team division, but also in the singles division. Rolling in the money, then wouldn't he? Absolutely, Tim. I mean, he's been a champion in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You know he would love to have a little bit of singles gold here. Oh, Dixon, all that's going to do is distract the referee, Ken. Yeah, but smart move from the tag champs. They know the temper that Dixon has, and they're using it to their advantage. Oh, I should have disqualified him, don't you think? Disqualify capital punishment for the to sleep the heavyweight champ. Oh! Oh! Back. oh. oh until that. Shot to the champ, shot to Dixon. Oh! High angle German. Well, yeah, Dixon still has Kier's attention. On, Cover! Oh, and there's Dixon interfering once again. Oh! 
Briggs. Yeah, he was raining down right. Well, Keener was distracted with Spencer and Dixon. He was easily distracted. Hey, it, it's hard to, to keep track of all four of these individuals, especially these four individuals that you know have tempers. Oh, uh, Spencer. Don't be given to Marcus any sort of opening. Spine buster! Oh. Well, tag to the Mushmaster, tag to Big Papa Joppa! And there's that T bone! There's a power slam from Ken Dixon. Uh, and the save from Spencer. Barely. Oh, and that was a straight right hand to the side of face of Dixon. I think Spencer's done playing around. He just wants to take the fight to Ken. Oh. Unprotected shots. Oh, there's a mean streak. A mean streak in Spencer's side. Grabbing the hardware. Oh yeah, something in mind. Oh, Spencer, you gotta, you gotta beware, man. Yeah, oh, the referee. I don't know if the referee should be physically interjecting himself in this match. Oh, he should. Oh, single leg. And now Tim is left alone. He has the gold! Oh, Ken, possibly looking for his best move to the eyes. Shot for the title! He's got oh. the cover! Oh, and we got new number one contenders! 